Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing the Skybet League 2 predictions for this weekend's Good Friday fixtures. And obviously we're going to be starting things off at the Wham Stadium where can one of these two sides bounce back with a win after disappointing defeats last time out? No, in the short answer. I think there's going to be a draw. Both sides look pretty poor at the minute and I can't really see either side even getting a goal. So I am going to go with a 0-0 draw to get us underway here. Now, next up, we go to Plough Lane, where women will be looking to bounce back after a couple of poor results on the bounce. Now, obviously, they're at home, and they host a side that's very good away from home. But, like I say, I just think women have a little bit more quality than Harrogate, and enough to get them through this game. And in front of Plough Lane's, uh, Plow Lane's fans, I think they're going to put on a really good performance. So, I'm going to go with a 2-0 home victory. Now, a team that's very much impressed me this season is Barrow, and they host Grimsby who have been one of the teams that haven't impressed me at all this year. Now, I think Barrow are fantastic, so they massively overachieved this season, and they look like a decent outfit once again. After a little bit of a wobble a couple of months ago, they seem to be back on track again. So I am going to predict them to win this game fairly comfortably. At home, I'm going to go with a 3-1 win to Barrow. Now, next up, uh, for me, this game only has one winner. Bradford look really poor, and even at home, they don't look very good. Tramit, they did lose last time out, so I'm expecting a little bit of a dent on their performance, but I think it's going to be a perfect game for them to bounce back from that defeat. I'm going to go with a narrow game, but just I think Tramit are going to struggle to put the ball in there, as they seem to do that at the minute. But I'm going to go with a 1 0 away win. Now, Colchester have been a much improved side under Danny Cowley, but they're just missing that win. I think they're going to get it this time out, though. I think that they've had so many good performances against Mansfield. They were so close to winning there. But they took a team that's flying at the top of the league all the way and ended up getting a point against them. So that can only be a good sign. Newport are coming off the back of a loss. I think it's the perfect time to play them. And from a Colchester perspective, I'd be looking at getting all three points here. So I'm going to predict the home side to win 2-0. Now, in this next one, I can only see one winner for me. Stockport County looked very impressive last night. They're 5-0 win over MK Dons. Yes, they may have been slightly fortunate, but you've got to do well to beat a team like that in the fashion that they did. Obviously, Forest Green Rovers, they've struggled this season. They, you know, let's not beat around the bush. They look like they could be heading for the National League. So, I think for me, Stockport County are the much better side. Their quality is going to show. I'm going to go with a 3-0 comfortable away victory. Now, this next one for me at Priestfield is going to be a very tight game. Both of these sides have the capacity to win it. But I can just see a lot of goals coming in this one. Both sides have got promising attacks. And uh, I'm leaning towards the away team, though. Despite not having the best run of form recently, we know they've got quality. They are where they are for a reason. They are a good side. So I'm going to go with the away team to manage to get all three points this one. So I'm going to go with a 3-2 away win. Next up, we're at Stadium MK, where MK Dons, I think they're playing Walsall at a perfect time because a couple of weeks ago, they were going to be playing the most informed team in the league, but they've dropped off recently, Walsall. Two draws and a loss in their last three matches is not ideal. And MK Dons, despite coming off the back of that 5-0 loss, I think they're going to be up for this game as they need to bounce back. And they're a very good side. I think they're too good for this league in terms of their squad ability. And uh, I think they're going to bounce back with a win, a comfortable win. I went over a 3-1 win to the home side. A much needed three points will be going back with Stadium MK. Now, this next game for me is massive for Sutton United as two wins on the bounce has got themselves fighting once again. And uh, I really hope for them this day. I mean, I've been to Gander Green Lane this season. I've seen what it's all about there. And for a team that's in the, in the position that they're in, they're still getting good gate receipts. And I'm really enjoying seeing how well they're doing once again. I think Sutton are going to win here. I'm hoping they're going to win. They're going to have to be at their best if they're going to get all three points. But I think they will. They're fighting for every point in the minute, and it's really good to see. So I'm going to go with a 2-1 away win, and I really hope Sutton can do it. Now, next up, we're at the county ground, where two teams have had the exact same amount of points in the last five matches, and neither side looks to be on any sort of good run of form at the minute. So I can't see any other outcome than a draw. I think both sides will get a goal, but... That'll be about where it ends. I'm going to go with a one or draw in this one. Again, either side could take the win. It just depends on which team shows up on the day. But yeah, I'm going to go with a draw in this one. Now, next up for me, this is arguably the game of the match day. This could have the impact that could change the scale of the promotion race for the rest of Skybet League 2. Obviously, not long to go now. And these two teams are right up there fighting it out for promotion to Skybet League 1. Now... I'm not sure he's going to win this one. In fact, I can't even see a winner. I'm going to go with a draw, but I think it's all about who turns up. If Wrexham turn up and be as good as we know they can, they can go on and win this game. And the same applies for Mansfield. I'm leaning towards a Wrexham win, but I'm going to go with a two-all draw and just be a little bit on the fence. I'm going to be, I'll hold my hands up. I've sat on the fence with this one. I'm going to go with a two-all draw. Now, next up for me, it is the overachieving team of the year, Crawley Town, and they take on Doncaster in what will be the final prediction for this match week. Now, obviously, for me, Crawley, 
they've been so impressive from the players to the management staff to the fans getting behind them it's been incredible to watch because for me they were the first pick to go down after last season just barely surviving and to go on and be fighting for the players is a credit to them as for Doncaster they've been a steady team this season they're not really going to be going up they're not going to be going down and uh, I think they're going to have put on a good game here I do think Crawley are going to edge it I hope they do edge it I'm going to go with a 1-0 home win so that just about wraps things up. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.